Hi, welcome to my channel coding skills. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can delete a file or a folder in Java using two different approaches. First approach we will be saying by using java.io packages and the second approach by using java.io package. So let's get into the Eclipse editor. Creating new Java class. Selecting public static wide main method. Importing required classes. creating a scanner object and mapping it to printing a message on the console requesting the to enter a file or folder name variable just declaring it as file name so it will capture both file name as well as folder name this is going to give us a value from the input stream once we have the value ready so let's create a method public Folder. We are going to input for this is file name. Or better, read about a a comment here. One. Based on what we are doing, we are using by the other packages. First, we'll have to create a file object based on the input value. So what are the variables that is inputted? Okay. File object got this. This is going to check whether the given folder name or the file name, whether it is physically that is existing on this system or not. Is going to give us a true or false based on the existence. Suppose if this is existing, so we are going to a summit operation. So this method is going to delete the file at the folder if it is existing. Valid message. Yes. Because this else block is inside the main if block. So if the file existing only in that scenario, it will enter into this block. So there will be a like main else block onto the, the top first one. We can create a generic message to do that.
I'm going to do the same message. So this is going to do both the scenarios. Okay. Better we change it for the better readability. We are done with the first approach. So let's invoke this particular method, the main method, by passing a respect to Let's validate all the if conditions. The program. Okay. which is not there so obviously file or folder does not exist because this condition is failed so obviously it will print this particular else messages so now let's try with the this also does not exist so in order to enter into this particular block first we need to create a file so let's create a file Creating sample file. You can create any file. So I'm just taking a simple example, hello.txt. The file is existing, right? Now let's run it again. Entering file hello. So file or folder deleted successfully. So you can see the file existed true, and obviously it tried to attempt the Deletion, it has deleted successfully. Hence, we could see this particular message. So if you refresh this particular window again, you'll not be seeing hello.txt. The same way, let's try with the folder. I'm creating folder name i. I'll execute the same program. This time, we'll pass the folder name. Because I want to show you both. Like, the program is applicable for both file and as well as folder. File and folder deleted successfully. We refresh it again. The folder deleted as expected. So this is about the first approach using Java type of classes. Let's look at the second approach. I'm going to copy the method signature. So, comment the existing method. This one as well. So, second is approach to using Java dot and I have a package and associated classes within that particular thing. So, let's import the required classes from it. Import Java dot. NIMO dot file dot directory not an exception. So this is one scenario which I'll show you. Import These are the things we'll be using as part of the second approach. In this block, let's start with the try block. Delete it. So I'm defaulting to pass. It's deleted. We're going to call a existing method. I start delete if exist. So for this input is a path. So we have to get the path on start. Okay. This is going to take the file name of the photo app. Okay. 
if this is true, then we can see the same message. So I'll copy the same message. File that folder deleted successfully. If this is false, you can say that be deleted. And there will be a like catch block. Catch block will say that. Three, not one exception. Whenever we get this exception that indicates it, the folder that you are trying to delete is not empty, it's having some other content. And if you see here, this method is also going to throw have an exception. It is reporting that you have an unhandled. So we need to handle that exception as well. So we'll be having one more cache block. We can see print track trace because we don't know like what are the other cases. So let's print that the same information. Let's execute the second approach. So file or folder could not be deleted because this has written false. So by default, you'll see the same message. Let's create a file. I created. Let's see the same thing. File or folder deleted successfully. That means this message printed. So if we try to refresh it, you not see that. Let's create a folder. In this CD. So what I'll do, I'll try to add one more file inside that ABCD because I want to show you the, the other scenario. So ABCD folder is having one file. So if you try to run your program, let's try to delete the folder ABCD. So ABC, so I, by mistake I entered ABC, so it should be ABCD. So directory is not empty. So whenever it attempted to this perform this action, so it got an exception. So hence we can see that particular message. What we have to do, we'll have to delete the existing files. We have to make the folder as an empty. Then only it will allow you to delete. Let's delete the file directly and return your program. So file or folder delete successfully to, to refresh it. So we can see that folder deleted as expected. So these are the two different approaches using which we can perform the deletion operation in the files. Thanks for watching the video. In case if you are having any specific questions, please drop me a comment. Please like the video and share it with your friends also subscribe to my channel following are the few other videos which are available in my channel so i just thought of providing you as a reference here which you might be interested in so in case if you are looking for any specific program please do mention in the comment section so that i'll be able to help you as early as possible thank you very much bye